John here guys and today we're talking about the Happy Model Larva X HD. Now this is Happy Model's latest release that comes in this very attractive um, case that is able to hold it along with a lot of the extras that it comes with. Most notable about this thing though in addition to how good it feels in the air and how surprisingly good it flies is the ability for it to transform. Decepticons transform! Transform! Attack! Attack! It can go from this standard toothpick style formula, swap out some protectable armed ducks on there, swap out this pod, and then all of the sudden you are able to have a fully fledged micro sort of style Cinewoop. Uh, Cinewoop by really having this fully ducted. Is that really worth it? Um, here's the thing. I know that the ducks are going to add maybe a little bit of stability flying very slow and steady, but they're gonna um, also add a lot of sort of wobbly flight as you go to push it and do acrobatic moves. I like to do those moves with this size craft, especially something that is still relatively low weight, even with the 3S battery. I'll put the weight uh, of the quad dry, the weight with the quad with the battery on board. But uh, what is this? For 155 bucks, man, it's just like smack dab in the mid range of everything that is going on these days. I'm a little skeptical on how long this frame may last especially with these little holes right in the middle where the ducks would go on but you could always just swap all this onto an armatan tadpole right uh, that is also a really excellent toothpick option and then you'll have something really really robust uh, i really really am liking this formula that happy models put forward i crashed it into several hard crashes i wasn't shy about how hard i was planning on flying this thing and it held up to everything i threw about it let's go ahead and go to the bench take a closer look at some of the stuff this is a very nice and small 65 millimeter toothpick class hd quad the arms are a little thin and they do have the little holes right there to mount the ducks uh, and i think this may end up being a weak point if you can see there's you know some little bit of flex in there i actually crashed this a good number of times and it totally did fine but if you take a fall onto concrete or something like that um it may not survive this is a very thin um it's sort of a semi-rigid but it does have a little bit of give i actually think this will work pretty good for this thing uh has these 1203 26 i'm sorry 6200 kv motors it is running these 65 millimeter props um, that are pretty nice actually. These are the gym fan versions uh, of those toothpick props. Has Happy Model's latest uh, ESC with the plug-in motors right there. So if you ever did have to swap one of these out, it would be very, very quick and easy. Have your accessibility to your USB to flash the ESCs or the flight controller on there, which is all on one board. Your middle layer here is actually the uh, HD board for the Caddx uh, Baby Turtles. This is a nano size HD camera. Actually has a very, very nice image. Um, this is a very popular option for these little tiny boards and then has your standard diamond style VTX on the top that does not have the DVR built in because we already have HD recording on board. Um, you have your little cable out right here that you can use to plug in to program the Caddx board. It just kind of like, you know, sticks up in there. And one nice inclusion that differentiates is, is it actually has a little tiny, um, sort of like the size of a Luminar Axie Micro um, right hand circularized antenna. That is a very nice feature for something in this size class, I must say. Now, I don't particularly like how it's just sort of on there with the UFL. They did put a little bit of hot glue, but I would definitely anchor this down if I was gonna be flying this more. Now, this is like configuration a right but this thing is transformable it comes with this really cool um sort of uh, carbon fiber weave ish uh material and if we open this up have an extra set of props some little tools a little soft pad for your battery 
and these little standoffs. What are those little standoffs for? Those are so you can mount these ducks. There is a set of these ducks that you mount and then you essentially turn this into like a cine whoop with some you know guards on there and it would look kind of like this i'll put a picture of what it looks on the screen with that and then in order to run this you have a little tpu printed um, canopy this is not the cleanest print i get i mean this is probably a hard shape to print but as you can see it's a little bit of a off kilter right here uh, but it would still mount on there fine and fly fine uh, I'm not going to run it with the ducks because you do lose a little bit of performance in there. This thing is so light that even if you're crashing into somebody, it's not really going to do too much damage. But these can get up to speed. Like I sent this into the pits and I almost caught it. I'll try to put a little clip right here. I did not catch it. I uh, hit somebody's toolbox. That is a big, big, big no-no. reason I did that was because I was trying to fly line of sight and any FPV no, um, pilots know that you are not able to fly line of sight very easily. It also has the XM Plus. Um, this came like that. I like how they have it mounted on a little bit of uh, double-sided tape in there. It leaves the bind button exposed. So it's really, really easy to bind up when you get it. And of course your antenna is coming off of the top. Inside you have the little um, controller for the Cadex camera. your hardware in order to be able to mount up those ducts. A couple of zip ties, a little bit of heat shrink, your instruction manual, which tells you how to bind and all that stuff. But most notably, the best inclusion, um, this does have quite a bit of stuff that comes with it, but the best inclusion by far is that it comes with two batteries and not just any batteries, two, Tattoo 450 milliamp 3S packs. Uh, that is impressive. Happy Model in the past has used their own branded batteries, which are, you know, whatever. They're just a generic style battery, nothing special about it. But these are actually my preferred 3S batteries to use for toothpick flying. They are really good. They're the perfect shape to be able to mount on under a little toothpick like this. They have an XT30 already on board, 75C. They're a decent weight. Um, everything about this is exactly what I would have chosen to fly. I run a couple of these already myself. Um, these are like, I don't know, what are they, eight, nine, 10? $12 batteries. So this isn't the cheapest of the little HD two picks around coming in at about 155 bucks. But the fact that it comes with a pair of those really starts to sweeten the deal guys. Uh, because if you factor in the price, let's say they're, you get them on sale for 10 bucks each. Um, that means that you're essentially getting this quad with HD features on board for closer to 135. And that is not really a bad deal at all if you factor in the fact that it has a circularized polar antenna, comes with an extra set of props, which is already a couple of bucks, comes with this um, Caddx Baby Turtles HD camera on board. Uh, this thing flew actually quite well. I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect a lot from Happy Model, but I gotta give it to them. They are not always the most reliable. They're not always the best looking. They have questionable naming conventions and certainly questionable uh, business tactics out in the market. But one thing that you cannot say is that they do not know how to make something that flies because they do. They know how to make something that flies excellent. And this is no exception to that. Very, very impressed with how this thing flies. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the footage of this thing. If you're looking for something that is a little bit smaller than like my favorite formula so far has probably been the iFlight Cinepic, but this is something a little bit lighter, a little bit more compact, a little bit smaller and a little bit more affordable, but still has that same great HD flavor to it. I do like that how neatly everything comes assembled on this. Sometimes Happy Model isn't the neatest at their builds, but they've kind of stepped it up. They have the cloth tape on the arms with the motor wires. Um, so what do you think in the comments, guys? If you were going to go something HD, would you leave the ducks on? Would you leave them off? I personally like to leave them off. This is so 
small and tiny that you could fly around people. But if you did want a center whoop that you could throw on the ducks and fly it indoors, this might be a really, really good option. I think with these motors, it has a good enough amount of power, but with these props, it's not gonna have too much thrust. It should be very, very manageable with those ducks and the extra weight that'll provide that stability. Uh, and I think you could probably push this around indoors in some tighter spaces if you really, really wanted to. I'm not really sure if there's that much of an application for that, but for the people that want the versatility to fly both ways, this is a great option. Thanks, guys. Nice. I got ten of these guys. Come on. Yeah. Give one more to Sam. Uh, no, Jack way down to her. Huh? You got ten. Like fifteen. Ten of them. Good job, Sam. Yeah, a couple. I hope they give it to somebody. Clear leg. Yeah. Yeah.